هلا احنا موجودين بسكشن نورث خلينا نحكي هو سكشن انا بحبه وعزيز على قلبي سكشن السيارات وتكنولوجي اللي لها علاقه بالسيارات يا ترى ب 2015 شو راح نشوف تكنولوجيا لها علاقه بالسيارات خلينا نشوف هلا دير هاو ار يو كان يو تيل اس اباوت ذس beautiful piece over here. It's a Polaris slingshot. They're brand new for 2015. We've got it outfitted with two subwoofers behind the seat and kick panel speakers. Um, goes zero to 60 in six seconds. Sweet. Can we can we go inside of it? It feels like as if I'm in 2050 actually. It does, it does. It's classified as a motorcycle. So you have to have a motorcycle to drive it, but it's um, legal on any street. Yeah, uh, um, and when are we expecting to see this car in the streets? I am now at any local Polaris dealer. Ah, sweet. And are they affordable? They are. They start at about nineteen thousand nine hundred. All right, that's that's a good price, and it's 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 very simple and very artistic from the inside. Basita, simple, كتير سيارة كتير مريحة كرسي كتير مريح. Lots of leg room, so it's really comfortable. It's not compact. You got a lot of trunk space as well, so you could take it to the grocery store and pick up a few things. Uh huh. رهيب. يعني وأتوقع بأجواء الصيف هاي السيارة مناسبة. حس حالك لأنه بالهواء يعني مش بس convertible حتى من هون يعني إنه أنت فعليا بتحس حالك بالشارع. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was fun. Can you tell us please about this uh, product and and uh, its implementation and what's going on in 2015? Yeah, so here at CES 2015, Pioneer is introducing our second generation of what we call our next models. Um, really, these are the top of our line of our car stereo products. These would replace the radio that's already in your vehicle, um, but you don't lose any features. Actually, you gain a lot of features. Last year, Pioneer was the first to implement Apple CarPlay, which is a, a custom-designed car interface um, by Apple for iPhone users. So you can come in uh, to your vehicle and use your iPhone to get your music, your messaging, your turn-by-turn -turn maps, and make calls, uh, of course, as well. Um, this year's big news is that in addition to Apple CarPlay, three of our new radios will also do Android Auto. Awesome. Can you show us a little uh, demonstration on the system? So this is a demonstration of Apple CarPlay. And so you can see here, we've got our iPhone 6, uh, and it's simply just plugging in via the lightning connector. Plug in the phone, you'll see the CarPlay shows on the phone. And at this point, we put the phone away. You can do all of these functions simply by pressing, if I press music, um, the same type of interface. Again, radio, playlists, artists, songs, everything. This is identical to the iPhone interface. Um, I will demonstrate uh, messaging because that's a, a really powerful thing as we were discussing. Who shall I text? Helen Ball. Did you mean Helen Ball? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say to Helen Ball? What time is dinner tonight? Your message to Helen Ball says, what time is dinner tonight? Ready to send it? Yeah, send it. Now it's sending the message, and that's it. Now we can then go back and start using our maps. When a message comes back in, you'll get a little pop-up notification. Um, you simply press on that pop-up, and the message will be read back to you. Um, so again, it's really, really intuitive. It's very easy. But above all, it really is allowing the consumer or the driver to keep their hands on the wheel and their eyes on the road, but still be able to use these core functions of the iPhone right there in the dash. The same thing applies for Android, am I correct? That's correct. Uh, and the interface obviously looks a little bit different because their interface is designed to look like the Android OS. Um, but functionally, it's very, very similar. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much again. Yeah, and looking you. forward to have this product back home. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir.